Setting up a piece of leather to start cutting a leather tray project. We're going to be using a drill bit and a drag knife on this project. A drag knife is actually off center, so we need to do something special with our X and Y zero position setup. I'm setting the X and Y zero position individually. So I have the knife turned. Now we turn it back the other direction and set the Y. This accounts for the offset so that we don't have to set that in our design software. Then I'll just set the Z zero position. And the cool thing with this machine is it has the bit setter. So it's gonna immediately take that over and measure the distance there. So then when we switch out for the eighth inch drill bit, uh, it actually takes account all of that. So it'll go and measure that again and measure the difference between those two. So that way we can just begin cutting. I'll get the vacuum turned back on and we can start drilling out all of those spots for where the snaps are going to go to put this tray together. Because we have everything all set in the design, we can be sure that this is going to work out and all of these are going to go in the right location. Now we can switch out for the drag knife after we turn off the spindle because we do not run the spindle while we are using the drag knife. So this is how we set up for leather projects with the drag knife. The setup is crucial to get right so that your project turns out exactly the way you want it. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. Can't wait to show you the drag knife cutting. Have a great day, everyone.